Hey y'all, welcome back to SSX. I'm Insetic. With me again is Blink Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? And Matt Rocks 101. Hey, I'm Matt. And this time we're headed to Antarctica with Moby Jones. No snowboard trip around the world would be complete without a stop in Antarctica. It's the coldest and most desolate place on Earth. A frozen white desert where sunlight is everything's best friend. Moby Jones, you're up. Now, you've been trained for exactly these kinds of conditions, so when I tell you that temperatures drop 40 degrees in one second from sunlight to shade, you know that staying in the sun is the only option. This place is a maze of paths, and it's littered with ice tunnels and crevasses just waiting to swallow you up. The frozen and forgotten ships and abandoned weather stations should remind you of that as you make your way through this region towards the prize of Mount Slaughter. What weather suit you've been kitted out with will go a long way towards keeping you safe from the worst this place has to offer. Hey, oh, hey, boy. they'll say some stuff that makes it sound dangerous. You know, they'll be like, the difference between being in light and being in shadow is 40 degrees. You know, Celsius. Yeah. Which is, yeah, yeah big. But yeah, Antarctica. Much Fahrenheit, it would be a lot. I, uh, I'll repeat what I said. I can't think of any like vice video or red bull you know video mm. where a group of snowboarders go to antarctica to hit the slopes but I, yeah. maybe that's out there so please let us know what the snowboarding scene in antarctica is like it's just yeah. the way she said it, it's like no trip is complete without going to antarctica and i was like i don't know i don't know I don't, anyone that goes there to snowboard yeah i don't think anybody's gone on a real trip <laughs> yeah i don't think anyone goes there if they can help it like maybe oh, if they're man, there to research you know, shit but i don't yeah, think anyone like, goes there otherwise Oh uh, yeah, we went to locks, you know, we went to all the great uh, slopes and such across Europe and Asia, but I can't wait to get to Antarctica. That's going to be my favorite part of this trip. <laughs> I was trying yeah, to think it, of mountains. In <laughs> Kelly Slater, <laughs> they went to the Arctic, right? Oh yeah, Kelly Slater, they went to Antarctica as well. Holy oh, shit. Yo, was it Antarctica? Okay. I think it was. I think it was. For right some on. Reason, well, there you go. When you said mountains and slopes, all I could think was, I was about to go, oh, yeah, I'm going to go snowboard up Mount Rushmore. And I was like, wait a minute, there's no snow there. <laughs> not only is there no snow, but it's not really a mountain at all. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, holy okay. shit. So, Antarctica is all right, but I really feel like it doesn't telegraph its death pits very well. Oh, fuck. Ooh, like, yeah, it no. just does not define those as well as I think it should. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like this this common area where you'll see the first, you know, half of the events, and this is the event peak and whatever. It's just jagged in that rough way where mm. you're not sure if, you know, you're going to crest over a hill and you're going to go into a death pit or if there is going to be ground below you. You know, it kind of reminds me, like the jagged layout kind of reminds me of uh, that mountain bike game that I can't remember of now from PS2 that you played forever Downhill ago. Downhill Domination? Yeah, Downhill Domination, except whenever you went flying through like crevices and pits in Downhill Domination, it didn't kill you. It would just like put you on a slower path. Yeah, pretty much. But it had Including like a lot of on the lava. Have, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. and like the lava one where you would go careening down and you'd see all these cracks and crevices and you would just fall right through them. And then you'd land on lava and just go a little slower. And just, yeah, you just ride with your lava-proof bike. <laughs> no, I love I love there's, like, there's fire and, like, ash coming out of your, like, wheels yeah. when you drive on that. So I'm like, wait, are my wheels burning? <laughs> yeah, like, you would kind of get set on fire a little bit, or at least your bike yeah, would. Yeah, there would be, like, fire You're, beneath you. You so would like, absolutely minute, catch fire just being near lava like that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, you would fucking melt. <laughs> you definitely it's wouldn't melt. It's rock. It's going to melt you. No, we've had this conversation before. You would burn before you melt. Well, you know what I mean. Damn. You I would just, burn before I can't let you go on that because, like, I had to, I, I had to pull out papers to convince you and Blake you wouldn't melt. I don't ever. No, I, I remember, remember that conversation so that conversation. well <laughs> because it was like I was getting that so mad years arguing years. with you guys about whether or not you would fucking melt because of lava. Are and you I was like, sure? I don't ever remember insisting. Yeah, that you no, would we melt had like lava. a real. And, and then you were like, hey, man, calm down. I don't care that much about it. And I was like, I do care. That's why I'm yelling. Oh, I don't remember boy. this at all.
Damn. Damn. Not with danger. Not with death. Evil. So genius. is this what Moby does between albums? Yeah. 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 He, uh, you know, rides in the harshest conditions on the planet, pushes <laughs> himself to the extreme, goes to Antarctica. Yeah. I yeah, like he Moby's pushed himself redesign. so far his hair came off. Yeah. I, I do like his redesign. It's, you know, thinking like, y- you know me and my opinions. It's not that there's any redesigns I really don't like or whatever, but I'm ambivalent on most of them. Mm. But I think Moby's redesign is pretty nice. It, it is like, hey, yeah, catching up with you after like 10 years. Well, also, he wasn't in on tour for some reason. And Shredded. again, in Blur, everyone just turned into the Sims characters. So yeah. it's like, hey, I haven't really seen you since SSX3. What's that yeah, say? He's... Something appeal? Shred appeal. Shred appeal. I thought that's what that said. I think. No, wait. That doesn't yeah. say shred, does it? I think it, it ends does, in ED. But... Something appeal. But yeah, like, that's... That was some Elise concept art from, like, SSX3. Like, oh. there were some good little touches, you know, of, of remembering the past. Kinda. I always really like it whenever people find ways to use concept art. Yeah, Cause, like, like, concept art is, like, a really important thing, but, like, you usually don't see it in games. Yeah. Unless you are, uh, you know, like looking through the bonus content of the game, you know? But I always like it whenever they can manage to include the concept art in the game itself yeah. somewhere. I think so it's, it's interesting... Like, oh, no, go ahead. So it's like this Russian pilot has, like, that... as a pin-up, you know? Yeah. Yes. I think it's interesting, though, that, like, for as much as we don't see uh, concept art for games, concept art for movies is, like, even harder to find. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, because, like, e- you know, live-action movies have, like, storyboarding and concept art and stuff. And all that stuff is just, like, in a database somewhere. And uh, uh, Okay, I'm going to be real. That looks like a little bullshit. <laughs> that rail there. That, that seems like weird. bullshit. That was this, a I, little weird. I forgot how much magnetization there is. I just mean, like, that you I mean, hit it smooth? and then bailed. Yeah. No, I mean, like, it's really, really smooth how they magnetize you over to the... To the rails, but it is very, very heavy magnetization. Right. Oh, that was a, well. You bailed. I was gonna say. Yeah. That no, cool. I just cannot show this area very well. Again, it's just really hard for me to do something with this. Yeah. This. This but looks also, very like, hard. Specifically for Moby. Okay. So his signature trick has been called the Superman bar spin. For this mm. game, it is called the Superb Man bar spin. What? Whoa. Look, there's a why. B in the middle of Superman when I do it again. It's like, uh. why did you do that? Uh, maybe it's they had the legal well, issues? I was gonna say, like, legal stuff, maybe? If Superman isn't... Well, maybe. Yeah, right? Say, like, is that's that, probably that, a copyrighted, uh... I can't name. call it something like a Superman something? I, I mean, thought. it was, you know, like a, a BMX trick. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a skateboarding trick, too, is No, wait, I'm thinking Christ Air. <laughs> but I mean, like... Like, okay, what if you had a, 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 a trick called, like, uh... Doug Funny. Oh, God. <laughs> no. You know, I was thinking about it, though, the way you said it, and yeah, the reason it's called the Superman is because you do, like, a Superman pose. Yeah. Which you get from the Superman character. Yeah, so, yeah that explicitly is explicitly named after the yeah, character Yeah, that is Superman. named after the character. Right? So, like, I don't know. I never if you, thought of if that. you did... And, okay, fine. You can't do Doug Funny as the name of a trick See, look, because of... Superb Man Bar Spin. Oh, oh, it it's the same man. like animation and everything. It's weird. It's just like, hey, yeah, it's just weird. But I mean, okay, so you can't do Doug funny because he doesn't have anything unique enough. Kid, the kid is boring <laughs> as shit. Then well, again, if the I did is. a crazy ass trick and called it the Doug funny and like it was so cool that everyone knew what it was, you know? Yeah. Well, like, I mean, again, that you would can't be a call life it goal. You can't call it Doug funny because he's a boring ass kid. So let's call it the Skeeter from Doug. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah that's and a cool. And Skeeter name. did that nose thing in the show Doug. Yeah. Um. So maybe if you do that to your board, that's called the Skeeter. The Skeeter from, from Doug. Doug. Right. Yeah. Not just the Skeeter. It has to be the Skeeter from Doug. Yeah. I think that would be a good use for that name. You think Skeeter from Doug will show up as a DLC character in that Nickelodeon fighting game? Uh, God, not please. only do I not think that's gonna happen, uh, I don't think anyone at Nickelodeon has thought about Doug, <laughs> possibly ever. What about uh, Recess? Wasn't that a- wait, was that, that a was Disney show? That was Disney. Oh, fuck, that was Disney. That's it, I do want 
Doug, Wait. Doug Funny, or Skeeter, or maybe even that mean green kid what? to show up as a character in the Nickelodeon fighting God, game. I, no, I want the mean green kid to show up. He needs to show up. I forgot up. what his name is. I don't remember, but he had like the cool leather jacket. Like, come yeah. on, he's the perfect support character. He could pull out a switchblade. Dude, what if what if it was Doug Funny and Skeeter, and they were like the Ice Climbing Brothers, where they were like two of oh, them yeah, were the, the same Oh yeah, the Ice character? Climbers, yeah. Yeah, like the Ice Climbers, and then like the support character was like the mean green kid. Like imagine Damn. him like showing up and then pointing at him and then like, like I don't know he insults their coolness like a whole Doug character pack. Oh yeah. fuck, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I mean, if Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and April O'Neil can be in the game, I don't see why not. <laughs> you know what I want? Other, what if they did other ones? You guys what if they did a live right action here. reboot of Doug Funny and they just like called it a kill a kid called Funny? I'm just trying to think Whoa. of like shitty, like Nick shows that I forgot about. Like, is Hey Arnold? I don't know. It wasn't shitty. Hey Arnold, is hey Arnold was... gonna be in there? I believe so. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Like, what other ones? I guess the Rugrats. Helga, yeah, Helga's in there. In there. Cat Dog's in there. Um, Cat Dog. Yeah, I remember Cat Dog. I don't oh, know who else died. R.I.P. I mean, from what I heard, it was actually a pretty good roster. Yeah, I'm just trying um, to think of like what is a show from Nickelodeon other than Doug Funny that time has forgotten. Ah, real would... monsters. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That one is uh, also in the game. What about, what about the beavers? Were they? Were they the angry the beavers? Game? Yeah. Are they in there? I don't think so. Here, here's the. Let me see the list of shows. I'll just do the shows because okay. there's a couple characters from a couple different shows. Uh, Ah, real monsters. Cat dog. Danny Phantom. Hey Arnold. Invader Zim. Uh, Loud House. Rugrats. SpongeBob. Teenage Mutant Ninja Loud Turtles. House. Fuck, I forgot about Loud House. Wild Thornberries, Ren and Stimpy, um, Avatar. Wow, Avatar The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra. I didn't realize they were both getting in. Hell yeah. Damn. Those, no, those no two feel a little bit out of place compared to the other ones. Why do you say that? I mean, like, all the other ones are, like, kids show characters and they didn't explicitly fight all the time. But, oh, like, yeah. it seems a little weird for Aang, Korra... I mean, well, actually, Leonardo and Michelangelo are maybe oh, a yeah. little weirder because they use weapons. <laughs> I guess I guess it's not super fair to put uh, um, fucking, uh, you know, Korra up against Spongebob now. Is yeah, it? Like, right? Like, like Patrick well, Starr has yeah, never I mean, hit anything. Yeah, Korra's gonna get her ass kicked. Well, you know, no, yeah, exactly. Patrick, Spongebob does know karate, so... That's you know, true. Maybe, okay, never mind. Maybe yes. it's not fair for Korra to go up against him, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember anything from All Real Monsters. I totally forgot that fucking. I show think existed. that show might have been actually before your time. Not like I remember it existing, but I don't remember anything about it. Like I remember seeing it. I just don't remember anything about it. Because I remember that Angry Beavers and Vader Zim were all like shows that I was aware of, but never watched. You know what I mean? When I was a little kid, because TV was like rare for me when I was growing up. Mm. Yeah. It's like the only shit I ever saw on TV was like, you know, Spongebob when it was on or like Teen Titans and I never got to see like any of the other stuff because <laughs> I just didn't I, get a chance know, to watch it. A, a character I seriously do want them to add, XJ9 from My Life as a Teenage Robot. Oh, That'd yeah. be a good character I thought for that would have been in there. I yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's popular. already in there. Um, but here's a character nobody wants, but I want. Cousin Skeeter. You remember that show where it was like a puppet and then like a bunch of humans? And Skeeter was like a puppet, and also, I don't know, it was a weird fucking show. Uh, like, it was just a show know. about a kid and his, his cousin, and the cousin was a puppet, but nobody addressed it in the show. Hmm. I kind of vaguely remember that. What about my cousin uh, Skeeter from Doug Funny? Oh, yeah, that spinoff show? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, also, and and I had to check this. I mean, Steve from Blue's Clues finally came back, like, last That's week. That's true. So, like, yeah. he could be a surprise inclusion, maybe. I would fucking well, love it if he having, kicked ass. Well, I mean, if um, they're gonna have, like, Nicktoons in there, why don't you have... Or not Nicktoons, uh... Okay, I, I'm gonna very, very quickly take over again. Uh, We're here okay. at the, the gimmick. We're not at the Deadly Descent yet, but at the, you know, run-up track. And so it's the cold, and so you have to put on a solar panel... Because, like, if you go in shadow, that, uh, your core temperature will start dropping. You'll start freezing to death really quickly. And you gotta, right. you know, boost out of there and get back into the sunlight. Where, you know, if you don't have a solar panel, 
your core temperature is not gonna, you know, go back up. But uh, if you do have one, it will regenerate. Whew, this is so kind of like the floor is lava then. You kind of think of it like a health bar. You could see that I'm like freezing and almost froze to death. But now that I'm in the sun, I, you know, my core temperature bar is going back up. It's a weird gimmick. They obviously thought of it like, okay, what's a thing we could do as a gimmick? Oh, like you're eating, you got to stay in the sun. How do we justify that? Uh, here we go. Into the pit. I don't necessarily disagree. I think it's kind of cool. Oh, I thought you fell to your death entirely for a second. I guess it's not like as you, you know, it's it's a passive thing that mm. you know comes and goes. You don't need to hit a button to warm yourself back up, like with yeah. the, the oxygen stuff in the Himalayas. So it's like not as bad, and also the screen effect isn't like as bad as it just, just darkening. But yeah. it's it's still only applicable to like a few tracks. Like they don't, yeah. they're not really able to take like this gimmick and apply it. I think anywhere else. I, I was gonna say this gimmick is almost so passive that it's like, why bother at all? You know what I mean? It's like. But I mean, you get into a tunnel like this and. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, my core went down a little bit. Let me just not go into another tunnel now. A little bit? That was almost empty. Well, you know what I mean, but like, now let me just not go into another tunnel. It's not like I don't see like four tunnels back to back. I it also. Looks like you have it, I, I believe time your to... core temperature maximum drops too. Like, Wait, if you it? let it go down and oh, then it comes back up, shade, it won't come back die. up to full. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, you're fucked. Like, that's, that's how they'll balance it for, you know, surviving events where you could do multiple laps and such, that it'll start degrading and, oh, you I know, see. won't regenerate you back to full, will start okay. going down faster. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, this track is also just to demonstrate the thing. The Deadly Descent right. is an actually maybe sort of difficult one. Right. Version of that, yeah. But again, just like... They're not able to take this and put it on one of the, you know, optional tracks in another mountain range. Yeah. Right. Uh, like they are with, you know, like wingsuits or armor or such. And yeah. obviously, you don't get any effect like the wingsuits of, you know, doing crazy shortcuts and such. So you're not wanting to put it on for tracks where you don't need it. Yeah. Well, does it I will say on I... tracks you don't need it? Well, I... say your thing because cutscene. Oh, I was just going to say, I, I really hope. Uh... I really hope you just freeze to death and we get to see all the corpses of the other snowboarders. Oh god, that would Down be dark. <laughs> Welcome to coldest place on Earth. Temperatures drop 40 degrees from light to shadow up here in less than one second. Uh, odds are you'll flash freeze like bachelor's dinner before you even know you've made mistakes. So stay aware at all times. Never tell me the yard's red. Okay, let's put this one away as quickly as possible and give SSX a leg up in this race. You just keep that whirly bird warm for me and I'll see you at the bottom. I hope so. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. That's a little, that's a little intimidating, right yeah, there. Yeah, right. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, the camera turns and it's like it has to pan up for how sharp the drop is. I know, Jesus. All right, so now we'll see the the gimmick all the way through then. Yeah, yeah. And we'll and there's more like jagged cliffs that you have to watch out for. I don't know. Like I'm I'm not sure if I even like the whole gimmick thing to be honest. Like I guess it's it's nice variety, but it's like I don't I'm, I'm wondering like how much actually is gained by having these. You know what these I mean? Some of the gimmicks are much better than others. The wingsuit I, one is awesome. Yeah, I like yeah. I like the ice carving one with the uh, the ice axes. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember the trees. Honestly, I like the trees one too because it it does kind of come at you fast and it's it's pretty intense. But like this one, I'm like eh. This one's, yeah. yeah, it's like neutral. Again, it's not a detriment to gameplay like the oxygen tank one is. I think the oxygen yeah. tank one is just the worst. Yeah, that um, one's actually kind of But bad. this one is, again, yeah, pretty passive. Um, okay, so I got a question then. How careful are you being down these maps? Because I see, you know, there's like, there's shadows all over the place. Are you trying not to hit any shadows and only go in the light? Or is it you're just kind of bouncing all over the place and it doesn't really matter which one you do? I, it does matter. 
Yeah, okay. and again, I'm good at these games. You know, right. someone who's not as good, it can be a lot more of a struggle. You see that I'm deliberately, like, trying to keep my boost up for, well, the same reason as I was doing so for the avalanches, you know? It's better to have it, uh, not need it, or than yeah. need it, not have it. Because, right. like, you will have to go through tunnels, like, as part okay. of this. So, I don't want to be caught without it, because I actually could lose. Oh, yeah, and it's like, right. this section right here, you need to be... Yeah. Able to, your, your yeah, you know, you need to be light. able to use boost and and have health. Bar yeah, for like it. I I took a route specifically to stay on top, uh, right. because I I knew. Yeah, I it would be a waste of the health. Uh, to Ooh, but look, it actually got kind of low there. Yeah, that yeah. got kind of close. But yeah, and then it's over. Yeah, right. it, yeah. Antarctica and these uh you know freezing events were never like the popular survive it global yeah. events back in the day. Uh, you know, I think yeah, there are it. harder tracks where, you know, online it was like you'd try to survive it and do multiple laps down, and the more popular ones, yeah, were in other mountain regions like, uh, you know, Alaska or Serenity Patagonia. was very popular, yeah. Yeah, well, for, for tricking, I'm talking specifically the survive it kind of, you know, doing a whole bunch of laps and seeing how long it can last. Oh, right, right, right. Welcome back, folks. And the conquering of the deadly descents continues as I've just received word that Team SSX has jumped into the lead. This team of pros is really showing what they're made of out there and putting Griff Simmons in their rear view. Great going, SSX. Way to get back in this thing. Yeah, a whole Griff. team of people fucking All my up homies Griff hate Griff. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you, Griff. Piece of shit. You asshole. All right, so yeah, again, there was a block of levels, uh, the Himalayas, Alaska, the a Antarctica, you could have done those in any order, but doing all of those now unlocks the next kind of block, where you can go to the Alps with Simon, or go to Africa with Mac. We'll be going to the Alps next time. So, uh, yeah, I, I want this menu music. This menu music yeah. is really cool. Heel, yeah. It's just like a chill beat, but I don't know like what it's called or such. So if someone knows, post that because called chillbeat.org. <laughs> Chillbeat.org. Uh, Chillbeat.wog. All right, so yeah, see you guys next time.